how to make an image move in canva hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can make an image move in canva now to get started the first thing you're gonna do is head on over into canva and choose your size for your frame now there are different ways to make your image move and there are different types of animations so just click on custom size and choose your size Let's say I want to build an Instagram post, so I'll just create a 12 by 12 inch canvas. Now, once I've done that, it's time to add my image. I have this image downloaded and I want to create like a cute little GIF or like a cute little video for my cat. So for that, what I'm going to do is click on uploads and upload my file. So choose the image that you want to make move. Now, once I have uploaded my image, I'll just add it to my canvas and I can expand the size as well. Now, there are different types of ways that you can animate your image or make it move. So for this particular image, as you guys can see, it has a white background. I can, you know, make my cat like this or like this. So if I want to give my cat the appearance of a flying cat like this so if i want to make it look like my cat is flying and i want to make my image move like this this can be done in the form of canva's latest most feature and to do this what you're going to do is place your cat on one corner or place your image on one corner from here what you're going to do is you are going to click on animate on the top once you click on animate you're going to see photo animations you're going to click on that and once you click on photo animations, click on create an animation. Once you do that, you're simply going to hold your image and then move it across to where you want the animation to happen. Then select your movement styles and opt for either a smooth or a steady image. I prefer the steady style and then I also like to increase the image uh, speed. And I also like to orient the element to the path. So if I moved my cursor like this, you guys just saw that the cat moved in the same way like this. It rotated. Now for that, you can also go for a smooth style if you're going to do that as well. I'm going to move the trajectory to here. And let's take a look at it once more like this. Now, I think this looks pretty good, and this is one way to animate different types of images in your Canva designs. Now, if you want to do something a bit different and you just want to create like a quick animation, and I just want to say uh, congratulations with a picture of my cat, but I want it to be a bit more dynamic and I want my images to move a little, for that, I can take my image and then click on animate. Then scroll down under photo animations. You're gonna find this section called motion effects where you can select different motion effects like the pulse effect, the wiggle effect, the rotate effect like this. And we can also adjust the speed of this like this. And I'll click on, I'll add the rotate effect like this one over here. because It's really funny. And then I'll go into elements on the left and I can search for sparkles like this and then go into graphics and you're going to find there are a lot of different uh, graphics on canva that already have a lot of movement like this one over here we're just going to expand and add this and i'll increase the size of this so it's uh, like really nice and now what i'm going to do is i can write text and i can click on add heading and i'll add congratulations like this and then i can also customize the font as well as the font colors from here so we're just going to select the font and then customize the font colors and then i'll place it over here once done so once you have done this if you play it this is what it looks like in the form of a video you can click on share click on download and download this as an mp4 or another alternative way to do this is to download this as a gif Click on download and the GIF version allows you to send this in the form of a GIF in mobile devices and reactions and comments. So if you're chatting and you want to send, you know, moving photos, you can easily do that with GIFs and you guys will see it is currently being downloaded and I'll show you guys what it appears like on your devices. Keep in mind that if you're using a desktop and you download this, your photo viewer, so the photo viewer that you have installed in desktop devices, 
that is the one that actually makes it look stagnant however when you actually send it online it is still going to have all of the movement of the photo included so we're just going to wait for this to be completed so i can actually show you guys what our download will look like so now our download is complete and if i go into the folder and i look at the gif in the form of the folder you will see in the preview it has all of the motion included however if you actually open it up what it does is that because it's being opened up in your photo viewer that is why the movement does not happen so you don't have to worry about that if you're worried that oh i added the movement but my photo isn't moving that is because you're viewing it in a photo viewer if you actually view these in a vcl player or a media player then you're not going to have this error now the last way that you can add some movement to photos in canva and i'll use a different reference image so you guys can better understand so i can go into elements and i'll just use a random cat this time because we really like cats for the day we're gonna go into photos and let's say we have this image of this cute little cat now one way to add movement to this photo would simply be to select the photo, click on animate on the top, and you can add a simple transition or a, a simple animation where the photo is going to appear with a sort of animation. And this is usually, you know, this type of the type of animations you see in slides over here. You can do that and you can add this type of animation like this so let's say i want to add something a little funky like the scrapbook one and what i'm gonna do is i also want to stomp let's say succession wipe pop i think i like the scrapbook one the best and once i have inserted the scrapbook animation you might wonder hey this isn't a powerpoint so i'm not going to be scrolling so how can i view the animation you guys will see the animation from the top right and what you're going to do is you're going to click on share once you've clicked on share you will have the option to download this as a gif or a mp4 so you can download this either as a gif or a mp4 that is up to your personal preferences on how you want your animation plus the same logic applies over here as well where you can go into elements and you can search for different types of elements and go into graphics and you will see certain graphics where they have movement so you can include the ones that have movement in them already to make it a bit more interesting for your uh, image or for your images movement now if i view it what this is going to look like is that this is going to look like that so i can choose to just directly click on save click on download and download this as a video to upload on instagram or any other platform or to send so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to add movement to your photos on Canva. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.